Well, we just completed this Lego set I got at the flea market. And my son actually helped build it, and he did a Lego review on it on his uh, YouTube channel, Supercube9000. So if you want to check out more details of this, go there. We are unboxing a full case of Series 19 minifigures, and they are going, they're going to Brick World, Michigan, all of them. are are just repackaging them. I got them. We've emptied out a box, and here's the rundown. Three bath guys, three fox, three monkey kings, four uh, knights, four bears, five uh, whatever, five mummy Egyptian mummies, five gamers, three flamingos, three fire women, three the dogs, the double deuce they call them, uh, three bike bikers, four rugby players, four pizza guys, four tech girls, and four Johnny Thunders. So I'm parting out three of these I got at the Walmart clearance deals a few months ago. And here's the pieces ready to get uploaded. Here's the minifigs. Now everyone, that one's going to go on my $5 table with the baby. But the rest are going in here. Brand new. The police station has been built. Complete. Ready for Brick World. Box it up. All right, here we go. Another basket full. I haven't even started on pricing some animal things <laughs> that I weep taking, so there is a ton of stuff here. Just adding it and adding it and adding it every day. More. I was able to make about 34 pops, or whatever you want to call them. Happy little trees artist. And not all of them have the paintbrush and palette. There's a few, I think there's at least 20 that have what I wanted. Uh, I didn't realize I was low on those until it was too late, so. But either way, they'll all go and I think they'll all be sold or given away this weekend. So we have built set 6073 with the box in great shape and all the inner packaging. We will now tear it down after now we verify it's complete and take it to Brick World, Michigan. So this drawer of my personal stuff is overflowing with these. It is no longer. I saved um, some that I had very few colors of. And these are the extras I'm going to put on BrickLink. Um, and then I, yeah, I saved the one, more of the ones I use, like the gold ones I'll sometimes use. And then all the ones that are dark bluish gray for the Magna Guard. So a trick when you're trying to find specific parts of it, you may not have no idea how to find that. And I, I know it's on the Magna Guard, so I just go right to the Magna Guard. So here's the name. They actually put Exoforce in the name. Binacle Thin Support. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Arm Mechanical, okay. If you remember that, you can find it. But I know it's on the Magna Guard, so that's how I find parts. I go to a minifigure I know where the part is on and I know I can find it real fast so I'm gonna upload all these to the Brooklyn store and then once you know the part number if you go to my inventory um, you don't have to select anything except use because I'm looking only for used parts and I add it here in the keyword section I already I just added the black ones already so they're in there now in USB 1 I'm putting it in with uh, all this stuff just throw it in the bag um, so it tells me I do have the white already in U111. I'm going to probably move that to the, the shoebox, take those out of there, because I have a lot more now, and I don't want them. I'm pretty sure they're actually already in a bag, <clears throat> so I'll put them in a bigger bag and do all. So I counted the other white ones I have, and I have 50 total with the, adding the 15, so I have 35 more. So you just do 50, and change it if you want to here. You do USB 1 and then you just submit changes right from the screen. You can change multiple on one screen. And updated. So now we have 50 in that drawer and I dropped it a penny. And I brought two shoe boxes over from the shelf because that looks too similar to black. So I try to separate parts that are similar in color. 
so that there's no mistaking when I'm just quickly pulling an order. I can I know it's in this one and there's not going to be a color similar to it, if that makes sense. So all the rest are going to go in here and just, just one will start filling up that. Well, somewhere in this journey I somehow got two Bionicle comic books which I will be taking to Brickworld. I believe $4 or $3, I don't know, is a good fair price for them. And then uh, now that I have more storage room with the, all the shoe boxes, I'm going to be listing a few older instructions that I have that, I don't know, I'm not just going to donate these. Um, I don't know, some of them might not be worth it much, but I'll put them on there anyway because they're small. So. so now we've built those um, old castle sets from the flea market. This is what's left over, or I don't have instructions for. Um, and I've also already pulled out those. That's like over, it's like f almost $40 worth of pieces there. <laughs> the black ones are each like $10 each or more. Um, so we will be adding these, probably a lot to Brick World. Oh, there's another one. Another red one in there, holy cow. Um, which would go to this guy, I just had to get a helmet on him. I'll probably put him for sale on eBay soon. And some nice stuff in here. And how would you go about finding this mask? Without knowing, um, I just go to minifigs on the main page of Bricklink. Go to Castle, or Classic Castle here. There's only 34 options and then you start seeing them. See the, the ones with the axe don't click on because you can't get anywhere once you get in there. But like, here's one. Um, so this one has a black. So here's the one with the red mask. So I'm going to be making this guy completed and putting on eBay came in a little set here like this. So I'm going to try to replicate everything there. Oh, and I have a blue one. I very well will probably, holy cow, um, I have both the blue ones because it comes with two in each. I very well may be taking those parts off of Bricklink, at least one of them to sell. On this guy because that is a very good minifigure to sell very high price um, let's just look at it here the blue one I mean th these are the prices don't really indicate too much on Bricklink because they don't really sell much there's none actually none for sale on Bricklink right now uh, but here's the prices that they've sold for recently 13 bucks is the average 11 15 15 so I put him use 15 he's going on Bricklink but I put them on eBay, it's over 20 normally. So I was going through uh, some bins, uh, some totes I mean, for find some uh, Lego sets for Brickworld and I found two of these. I kind of remember getting them for um, around $25 or $28 or something. So I'm going to be parting them out now and adding uh, the minifigs to my $2 bin like the other one. So what we have going on tonight, it is uh, yeah, Tuesday night. Uh, we're leaving for Brick World very early Friday morning, and um, I had two of these that I parted out earlier. I took all the minifigs, there's all the parts, and I threw them in my $2 bin. They're six for ten, almost all of them, except the baby and the dad, and the grandpa and the grandma are in my $5 together, in the pack together. Um, and then I had two more of these. I parted them out a while ago, so I had a lot of parts already in my store still and need some more minifigures so, I mean let's try to add more so that's what I'm doing tonight so I uploaded these parts oh good <laughs> it's been sitting here for like 60 seconds and I hit the refresh circle arrow thingy and it came through and it still has the drawer numbers Whew. so this torso had a cracked arm not a very common color, dark orange for arms. So here are my three drawers of arms. Don't have one. So I had to go into my stockpile. Lots of hands. Not sure how many there are. <laughs> but I found mostly rights and found one left, so we got it. More poly bags. I got uh, priced up. There's my original batch of them with some CMF things, so quite a bit here. 
not going to fit in that bin anymore. So it is Wednesday, uh, about closing time for work. I just filled up my last basket. Because Thursday is, Friday's our drive day, Thursday is my relax day. Because I won't be able to relax for the next few days after that as well. It's still fun, but... Whoa! And then uh, I had someone else help me with all this stuff. So there is a ton of stuff for sale. Oh man. I just have to finish filling this up. Some uh, other pieces there. I have to price these Lego sets. These are what I'm taking, the bigger ones. And that's about it. I just make a couple signs. I'm going to put one in here promoting the YouTube channel, Instagram, other things, how to pay, this and that. I have to tear this down and price it. That's about it. This is my final BrickLink order for Before Brick World. It's Thursday morning here, so that is getting packed up. And all I have to do is price these sets. New open box sealed bags. Get some tags for each one. Just say that. And then I have my wounded parts, which I sell for a dollar. They're all parts that are parts I don't want, or they're not even Lego. Um, which these sell out very fast every, every time I bring them anywhere. So I'm going to do all that. I should fill up at least 30, maybe 40 bags. So I found the, we got a list of vendors or a map of the vendors that will be at the show. And the person next to me, I found him on Facebook, I asked him a question. His, he said his first show was Kansas City. So it is a uh, very early Thursday morning. I've closed the store as I'm doing the shipping for the day and I won't be shipping again. So Bricklink is closed and eBay is closed. Well, the other day on Monday I was making the uh, Pops figures and I ran out of stuff, but I uh, found a seller in Minnesota that I asked if they could send it out really quick, and they got it here on Thursday. So um, there's four paintbrushes and then a lot of palettes, but so they'll at least have four more complete. So that's nice. And then I got stuff for um, Minecraft skeleton horses. I can build, I believe, four of them. So I'm gonna do that now too. So it's Thursday at two o'clock. I got off my regular job early because um, they're giving time off voluntary. So I actually found time to make some more after seeing that uh, message from the other seller. Um, yeah, you can never have enough, I guess. So now I'm going to go through the totes real quick. We have this full of priced minifigures. Um, oops, very few of these uh, Lego pieces with a minifigure in it for three bucks. Um, Three build your own minifigure cases completely packed. There's one of them. So they're going in here, here, here. And that one's full. And then over here we have a bag of minifigures. And then all these poly bags here, full. I think you've seen that before. A case, comic books. These are all my $5 minifigures, or five for 20. It is completely packed. That's a lot. Extra bin of minifigures down there. You can see another extra bin I'm gonna bring to refill things. These injured parts have to go somewhere. And then those Lego sets up there have to go in that tote there. And then this tote has Lego sets basically all through it. And tablecloths, our banner, the, the red handle one is the one we open first to set up. And then it also has those sets, all of them. There's the police station and two castle and boxes and that one in a bag. And then the last tote, has to fit these Lego sets. There is barely anything in there. 
If I can fit more Lego sets, we're going to. That's it. Well, here it is. Everything we are bringing, except our Lego bulk pieces. We have about 50 pounds worth in the van already. We had to put it between the driver and the passenger seat because there wasn't room in the back. The way we are only taking out half of the back seat, so this is all fitting in a very small spot. So, whew, finally done. And then hopefully take this to put poly bags in because there's I don't really have anything to put them on other than the table. I don't want them all over the table. So, you will see. And I was able to fit some more sets. I got three more sets. This one, I don't think I had very many superhero stuff. Um, this nice one, and this nice one. That guy. So I'm quite sure these are gonna sell. So here it is. Four big totes in the back. A little bit of room here. And then, This is the 50 pounder of Lego pieces in there. So we put it there because we wanted to keep three rows in. This is just a half a row, but full row, full row, ready to go. And our suitcases, we'll put our suitcases, some will go here and some under our seats. So it's happening Thursday night, ready to go.